and welcome to MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Multimedia Widget. In this course, I'll present the steps for including the widget in your apps. Using MicroStrategy Desktop, we will go over the attributes you will use in the data set for your widget. Then, using MicroStrategy Web and Design Mode, I'll show you how to add the multimedia widget to a document in an app. You'll need an iPad or iPad simulator, MicroStrategy Web, and MicroStrategy Mobile. The multimedia widget is available for the iPad and iPhone. The widget provides users with information about media and an attractive interface for accessing that media. Users can view content right away or download it to view later. Here's an example of when you would use the multimedia widget. Let's imagine that you're the leader of the Our Lady Afro Rock Band, and your job is to market the band to local venues. You want to use an iPad app to supply venue managers with videos, audio, flyers, photos, everything venue managers want to know about the band. Here's an example of an app that you might put together. We've got a big photo of the band, and the multimedia widget is on the right side of the current document. As you can see, the user can swipe up and down to view all the content that's available. The multimedia widget displays descriptions of each item and has icons which represent the media type. The multimedia widget includes nice user interface features like bounce back when the user reaches the top or bottom of the list. Venue managers using the app have access to content such as videos of the band, photos, and flyers. Here's what it looks like when we use the multimedia widget to access videos. And here's an example of using the widget to view a flyer for the band. Let's stop and consider the advantages of using the multimedia widget over simply providing links to content. When you provide links to content, the user is taken out of your app and into another app on their iPad or iPhone. Then they must navigate back to your app to view the rest of your content. The multimedia widget provides a slick interface. Most importantly, users can download files to view them offline. So users who are traveling and don't have access to the internet can still access your videos, PDFs, and so forth if they have downloaded them already. The multimedia widget displays a check mark next to each file that has already been downloaded. Now we'll cover how to set up the multimedia widget. First, you'll see how to set up the data set that you will use for your widget. The data set stores URLs and metadata for your content. Then, you will use the data set to create the widget in MicroStrategy Web. Let's open the report that will drive our multimedia widget. The port we are using happens to be a freeform SQL report, but you can use any type of report. This report contains all six of the attributes that are required for the widget. We will go through each of these attributes. The first attribute is called the MW underscore URL attribute. The MW here stands for Multimedia Widget. The purpose of the MW underscore URL attribute is to provide the URL path for the media. Just make sure to provide a complete path rather than a relative path. The second attribute is called the MW underscore name. And this is just the file name of the media that we, you will use to provide to the user, such as flyer14.pdf. The third attribute is called MW underscore modified on. This is a very important attribute because it keeps track of the document version. For example, let's suppose you created a flyer that promotes the band for an upcoming show on July 4th and that some of your users downloaded the PDF and saved it to their iPads. A week later, you make changes to the flyer because you kicked someone out of the band and changed all the fonts and you saved the new PDF to the web server. Providing information about when the content was modified ensures that all users will have access to the newest version of your media, even if they have downloaded an earlier version. The fourth attribute, MW underscore modified on text, provides the same information as the MW underscore modified on attribute. It's important to make sure that the values match. The only difference between the two attributes is that the MW underscore modified on is of the date time data type, while MW underscore modified on text is of the text data type. Now let's talk about the fifth attribute, MW underscore DBI GUID. This attribute provides ID of the database instant object. You can get to this ID by right clicking the database instant object going to the properties and then getting the string value from the ID column. 
The sixth and final attribute is the MW underscore description. This attribute gives users information about what they are downloading. Make sure to keep it short so it does not overflow the space in the widget. Before we move on, it's important to take note of the data types of the attributes you use to create a multimedia widget dataset. All of the attributes are of text data type except MW underscore modified on, which is of the date time type. Also make sure that the form is set to ID for each of your attributes. I'm going to run the report so you can get an idea of what the attribute elements for your attributes should look like. One last thing to note is that the multimedia widget will not handle files larger than 50 megabytes. This is because there is a limited amount of space on the user's iPad or iPhone. The limit of 50 megabytes per file prevents you from using up too much memory on the device itself. Now that you've got the hard part down, it's time to create the widget in MicroStrategy Web. In MicroStrategy Web, open the document in Design View. Click Add Dataset. Find the multimedia widget dataset that you created with the six attributes necessary for the multimedia widget. Drag the dataset to the canvas and Web will create a grid for you. The multimedia widget requires a certain naming convention and a specific order. To turn off the grid into a multimedia widget, point to the grid, right click the handle and select properties and formatting. Click widget. In the widget drop down list, point to mobile and select widget. Click OK. The last step is to size and position the widget. I'm going to position the widget on the right side of the document and size it to the document height. Now we're ready to save the document and view the result on the iPad. We've added a multimedia widget to the app to provide users with an attractive and easy to use interface for accessing rich content. And that's a wrap for this course on the multimedia widget.